Well, the rainy weather is showing no sign of abating. Authorities are advising people to avoid crossing flooded bridges and to be extra vigilant in low-lying areas. Gauteng roads are no stranger to potholes, and in the wet, they can be even more hazardous. Kokta MEC Mzi Kumalo joins us now to discuss this matter. Thank you so much, MEC, for your time this morning. A very good morning to you. I mean, obviously, when it comes to the infrastructure that we are facing as the province, one would say a lot more work needs to be done to be able to keep South African residents safe, right? Gauteng residents specifically safe especially during this uh, wet period. Any plans from the, the Cocteau Department side? Well, <clears throat> part of our responsibility, of course, is to ensure that uh, we get involved and prepare ourselves insofar as uh, issues like uh, the disaster uh, is concerned. Uh, we have uh, a provincial disaster management center which disaster management center works together with uh, municipality, uh, uh, municipalities established disaster centers. Thus far, we have activated ourselves. Uh, we have activated uh, the um, um, uh, municipal uh, level uh, uh, disaster management centers uh, and our personnel um, are busy. They've got a plan. Um, as it is, we know that uh, since from the 6th to the 7th, because that is the period at which our people were warned that will have uh, the above normal uh, rainfall. Mm. About 1,300 uh, of our people have been affected in different parts of, 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 of the province. Yeah. I want us to labor a little bit on those disaster management uh, centers there, uh, MEC, because, you know, there may be a plan. I guess the, the, the issue between planning and implementation is those that need to implement in order for the general public to get access, right? And sometimes the public ha struggles with getting access to the phone number to dial. If, for example, I wake up in the morning, my house is being flooded, I've got no more clothes, I need to get away with my children and my husband and everything else, and I don't know who to call at that moment in time. How are we faring in being able to not only make these plans, but disseminate the information so much so that the most vulnerable even know where to locate some of these uh, uh, centers? The first thing is that we, we, we have um, uh, quite a number of mechanisms that we're using to disseminate. Um, as I said, we're working together with municipalities and we have a, a platform where in even NGOs are part of that uh, particular uh, platform. And um, with, uh, in terms of uh, community level, we've got uh, community-based NGOs that are also part of that particular platform. We're also working very close with ward councillors who are known to their constituencies within the area that they operate. Those ward councillors are helping us with uh, uh, directing us where the info, uh, with information uh, that is relevant. Uh, look, the, this, the issue of disaster is a two-way. We don't necessarily wait for communities to get in touch with us. We are monitoring the situation and we intervene as and when the need arise. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, the, the disaster that has happened uh, in, 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 in the Nainsfield uh, Men's Hostel, we didn't wait for the community there to tell us that there's a disaster. Because of our monitoring, we intervened, uh, uh, working together with uh, the Johannesburg uh, uh, Disaster Management Center. And, and we want to thank them because uh, they've uh, really been playing a, a leading role uh, in ensuring that uh, we, we, we help uh, the about 300 people who were displaced uh, out of their rooms because of the floods that happened in that particular hostel. We, 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 we saw uh, around Soweto, the sinkhole that was caused by the heavy uh, uh, rain. Uh, we intervened. We did not wait uh, uh, for, that, uh, um, uh, for that community to tell us what's happening. Working together with, of course, Johannesburg Disaster Management Center, that sinkhole has, uh, has, been, uh, 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 has been barricaded as it is so that uh, it, uh, uh, people are warned uh, about it. The road of Ranfontein, for instance, uh, working together with the uh, the Department of Road, we know that uh, uh, um, there's going to, to, they are busy going to fix that, that particular road. So it's really a, a two-way uh, process. Whilst we wait for communities to talk to us, but we continuously are disseminating this particular information. For instance, we are warned uh, by South African Weather Services uh, uh, that uh, uh, during this, uh, the, uh, November, December, there's going to be this uh, above normal uh, rainfalls. 
and we immediately ensured that that particular message is disseminated through our channel uh, uh, to all the relevant uh, NGOs uh, uh, and to all uh, uh, communities. And, and, and as matter stands, we still are um, uh, informing communities that please uh, note that uh, between this period and, 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 and the end of December, uh, we're going to have this ab abnormal, uh, ab ab abnormal, above normal uh, rain weather. Uh, and, 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 and as I said, we have a high tech in mid yeah. that is also helping us to continuously uh, monitor the situation on the ground. MEC, you know, as you're speaking about the interconnected um, relationship that you'd have with the various department, I want us to take it to the local municipality uh, realm because in often cases, and we know this, right, flooding happens because there are potholes, you know, tires get, get ruined and the like, and you're saying that the Department of Road and Transport is doing its best to be able to repair some of those potholes. But also a big problem that we're facing right now is the issue of stormwater drainage, right? Some of these roads are flooded, and some of these roads are flooded when they don't need to be flooded, right? Right? They flooded either because it's too much litter or we don't have uh, adequate facilities and, and infrastructure for stormwater drainage. And then we find the cars getting stuck and then we still have to then, you know, it's a further cost, it's a further expense that is unnecessary. So how are we faring in being able to take this conversation even to municipalities to say, guys, as much as we can, you know, make sure that the disaster is mitigated against. But that disaster will happen unless our roads infrastructure are fixed, unless stormwater drainage actually is at an effective level. Well, I, I can make an example with you. Um, just uh, two days ago, I was in uh, uh, Sidibeng, and we were, we went to uh, Everton because our communities are highly affected at that particular level. We took the municipal officials and, and the mayor there, and we went to um, Everton, where we experienced a, a very bad situation, mm. wherein uh, uh, the are no touch road and there isn't any uh, storm water drainage and as a result uh, uh, the houses of people are being flooded as part of our plan with the municipality today we, we would be um, uh, relocating some of the um, uh, community members there i mean i i went to the houses of the people there inside the houses it's it's, it's really really very bad and and we have to work hard and um, we will be talking to the department of infrastructure uh, uh, we'll be talking to the Department of Roads that we really have to integrate our work and ensure that we improve the situation uh, 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 such as the one in Abatur. And it's happening uh, in a quite a number of municipalities. Uh, mm. uh, you're going to Rentworth and other municipalities. You, you face up with, with the same uh, 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 situation, which is not uh, really good. I mean, uh, it, it's, as I can, I can tell you, I went there and I, 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 I could see the, 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 the difficulty that our people are living under. Yeah. due to, to lack of, of this infrastructure in our community. So, yes, we, we will, we, as I said, we will talk to these relevant other departments and MECs and municipalities, as we are doing with uh, M. Fuleni, the mayor is involved there, and we told them, please, uh, uh, let's, let, let's intervene uh, once and for all. Those communities told us, we've been, we've been reporting this for, for the last uh, three years or so, mm -hmm. but little has been done. So we've got to do something as government because in conditions like that, that is where you see uh, uh, this painful experience uh, by, by our communities. So we are going to the premier is going to call um, a, 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 the mayor's forum uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in, a, in, 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 a, in a week or so, mm -hmm. wherein we are going to uh, uh, have a conversation with the mayors of the of of of, of the province in, in different of different municipalities aimed at ensuring that we deal with the real issues that affect uh, uh, our people such as this one because we've been warned so we can't afford to go towards december having yeah. not improved the situation I agree with you, MEC, and more than anything else, it is a warning, right, that if we don't do something about it, then it's heading for disaster, especially when it comes to the, the state of our, st our stormwater drainage in this uh, province particularly. But we'll leave it there for this morning. Thank you very much for your time, as always. MEC for Cocktail Gauteng, Mzi Kumalo.